I love helping people play Dungeons and Dragons and I love being involved in it. But my other passion in life is psychology. And I wanted to be able to share what I've learned through 25 years of gaming experience and uh, psychology education with anybody else who's interested in sitting down and playing the games. In a world that gives us the opportunity to explore different aspects of ourselves. So if we look to psychology to answer this question. My podcast uh, actually came about as a secondary endeavor after I wrote my book and I wanted to have a method of sort of promoting it. But what I really found when I started doing the, the show and talking to other people in the gaming industry was I was just having so much fun. One of the biggest moments of my show so far was I got to talk with one of the biggest names in the role-playing industry, Monty Cook. Hello and welcome to the show. I am so thankful and grateful to be joined today by the one and only the legendary Monty Cook. Welcome to my show, Monty. Oh, thanks. It's great to be here. So getting to talk to him and pick his brain and, and really hear his story was like a dream come true. What's so cool about my show and and D and D and, and psychology, the show occupies a space that I think needed to exist for a really long time, because role playing games and psychology are so tightly linked. So much of social interaction and the building of friendships and the importance of being able to put yourself in somebody else's shoes and be empathetic to their situation, you learn and you practice all those things in role-playing games. It's like a practice place for real life. It just enhances life in such a great way and you're doing all of this amazing stuff of becoming a better person all under the guise of just playing a game, which is the best part about it.